Hey guys, Robbie here, here at MPH Club in Miami Gardens, Florida. And I wanted to explain to you guys, or at least have the owner, Lee, of MPH Club, explain to you guys how the exotic car rental process works. So a lot of people think that it's a very arduous and taxing process that is just uh, crazy when it comes to getting your insurance involved and there's just lots of hoops you have to jump through. And um, I actually just re recently rented my first exotic car here and it was actually easier than going over to the Miami airport and renting something from Hertz. And I'm talking like a Camry. Even though they have like exotic cars to rent, there's nothing like the 85 plus cars that Lee has in his fleet here at MPH Club. So right now I'm gonna hand the mic over to him and he's gonna to explain to you the process of how it works and how you can take one of these beautiful cars home today. So we try to make it very simple and easy. Renting a car here at MPH Club, it's a little process. You have to provide your driver's license, your insurance. We call it verified to make sure your insurance is active and it rolls over to a rental. Once we get that verification, we teach you how to drive the car and you're good to go. Obviously it's a little bit more expensive than a regular car like a Camry, but uh, you get to have a really cool bucket list car to rent for the day. Uh, a lot of clients do rent these vehicles for specific reasons, you know, like a, a birthday gift for themselves or even just, I have one at home and I want to drive one on my vacation here in Miami. So it does happen often. And the beautiful part is we do get a lot of brand new cars you can't find anywhere else. For example, we just got a brand new SF90 Spider. So you can rent these cars before you even buy one because you can order your SF90. It'll take you two or three years to get it, but you can play with it right now and experience the car. So that's, a, that's the biggest perk that we provide here. These are really popular for production purposes. There's no engine in them. These are exact replicas of actually, this is a uh, Lewis Hamilton's championship car for 2019. And right behind you is last year's championship car from Red Bull. This is the newest thing we just added to the fleet. I'm very excited about this one because it just looks fucking badass. I mean, the difference, I mean, and what it like, so that's from what season again? That's from 2019 and 2023. So it's the same thing as you comparing your iPhone from 20, from 2019 to 2023, four-year-old iPhone is really outdated. The, that, our computing technology doubles every year. Literally. I can't imagine forming a $15 million Formula 1. Yeah, with an endless budget, right? So that's that's what it comes out to. So we have a little payroll room over here. We stuck some cars in here. We got a couple of Dons, we have a GLE AMG. It's a full-blown clothing store with a couple of Rolls Royces sprinkled in it. Like. Yeah, we'll make sure we get you some merch before you leave today. But uh, yeah, we designed a bunch of like hats and hoodies and stuff like that. And uh, actually, I, I love walking around representing my brand. Yeah. And then look, this is one of our F1 cars that we added here. And this car is literally sitting right here. Literally, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Cool, good design. Show you a couple of cars that are outside. We got a couple of Beamers. The i8 used to be so popular. It's kind of calmed down lately. Yep, this is the A50i four-seater convertible. Another cool and in one of my favorites. Oh, okay, yeah, another column. This was pretty cool with the matte black and the 26-inch wheels. This is this is beautiful, man. So yeah, we got a couple more cars over here. This is the brand new Rolls-Royce Ghost, oh, wow. black badge edition. This one's fully loaded with all the carbon options as well. Beautifully specced black on red with the Tiffany Adson. Oh, look, another with a spider yeah. just sitting in the corner. Those are pretty cool. We got a brand new Corvette C8. Oh, here we go. The convertible. Very cool. Spider, so another right? convertible. It has the GT2 seats, carbon buckets. Yep. Essentially the same seat that Porsche puts in the GT3 RS. I mean, yeah. You know, and then honestly, this up. has been my favorite car for the past oh. couple weeks now. Porsche Turbo S. Python. This thing is insane. I love the way it performs and drives. And this color specifically is sick, bro. This is a very special car for me in my business because this is our first manual. So we normally have automatic cars to make it easy for clients to drive because not everybody knows how to drive stick shift. So since we added this car, it's a manual and it's a very popular car. Oh, yeah. And we've added because of the demand. A lot of clients are requesting for manual cars, you know, and they want to drive stick shift. So we've added this recently and it's been very popular. So I'm thinking of adding a second now. Just debating on which one to get. So as you can see, we have a lot of really cool art around the whole facility. We are also are an art gallery. We sell a lot of really amazing art, very unique stuff. This one specifically is a custom piece I had made for ourselves. So this is a piece by Daniel. His name on Instagram is I'm Addictive. Really cool oh, piece. Oh, you were telling me about him. Yeah, he makes really cool stuff. So he made this one-off piece for us. This is a receipt to our membership. So when you purchase a membership, yeah. you get this really cool piece, right? It's a $75,000 membership that gets you 100 rental days of any car in the fleet. So they never expire. Yeah, the 100 days that buy that you buy, they're yours. It could take you 100 days in a row to eat them up, or it could take you five years to eat them up. It's up to you. Get 100 days with the cars that we're looking at in here. Then. Yes, this is just some of the inventory. Uh, yeah, over 85 not, cars in our fleet. This is what maybe 30 cars in here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Th then once again, thank you to Lee for showing us his amazing Anytime. fleet and explaining us, explaining to us how the exotic car rental process works. And as you can see, it's not a scary process at all. In fact, it. Honestly, it's easier than just walking into one of the larger rental agencies at an airport or anywhere else. And you get to believe in one of these beautiful vehicles. So cool. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Thank you.